for tuning in today. So today I wanted to do a gorgeous bridal look for you. Now, of course, you can do this every day. It's not just for brides, but it's especially gorgeous and flattering on so many women. If you don't know what to do for your wedding day, this look always goes over well with my brides. Every bride wants to look, you know, stay in the more natural tones, look like themselves, just elevated. And everyone wants their eyes to pop. That was for you, Lacey. Now, I always recommend getting your makeup done by a professional on your wedding day, like someone you vetted, someone that does a bridal trial for you, like don't choose your homegirl down the road and hope that it turns out well, it's your wedding day, you're gonna have those pictures forever. So, I definitely recommend seeing someone like me or a professional for your wedding day, um, but I wanted to give you an idea. So many brides come into me, especially for their trials, and they don't know how to pinpoint what they want. So it's really great to bring Pinterest photos, to kind of identify the color palette you want to stay in, to know what looks good and what doesn't on you, to know if you're a natural bride, a glam bride, somewhere in between. Just have a general idea so your makeup artist can really capture, you know, how you want to look for your special day. Okay, so let's talk about a few prep steps before you go in to see your professional makeup artist, before your wedding day. Whatever you're going to do, you need to prep your skin. So I think you should see an esthetician, get your brows done, get your stash waxed, like get everything together. Um, and then at home you need to be doing maintenance steps or exfoliation steps so that your skin looks radiant and gorgeous on the day of your wedding because it's a makeup brush, not a magic wand. Let's remember that number one. Number two, there's so many things you can do at home to prep your skin. So I think using an exfoliant, something like uh, the Resurface from Philosophy, amazing. You you know, you need to stay on your exfoliation game because there's nothing worse than trying to make someone's skin look, look great that's like built up dead skin. The makeup can't go on smoothly. No matter how amazing I am, you need to do a little work too. So the Serious Serum, these are all things that I talked about in my skincare video too, like Watch that video, especially brides, like get it on and popping before your wedding. You also need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate your skin. You need to be using really luxurious, rich, amazing formulas at night. Something like the Lacey Hagen, the Creme en Naturel, uh, I mean like heaven on earth for your face. And you're, you get just get the benefit of having awesome skin. Your makeup goes on better. Your pictures look flawless. Like what's the holdup? Go buy some. So that's the stuff you need to do ahead of time to make sure that your skin looks amazing and your makeup therefore looks amazing as well. So, so if you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button below. And if you want to learn how to recreate this look, stay tuned. Mwah. Bye guys. Okay, so I realized the first part of this video did not record. So prime, prime, prime your skin. And then I did a crease color here. Uh, naked as you can see the lid is sidecar and then we're moving on to buck which is that beautiful deep warm brown there and I'm just going to use that to really intensify the crease the first color I used which was naked just kind of laid the groundwork for the crease and then we're going back in with with this deeper darker richer brown and just really starting to carve out the crease so that's what's going to pop in pictures but it's going to look really natural like it's going to just look like that is how your eye is naturally so just using a little bit more of an intense brush there than the regular crease brush. And then we are gonna go under the brow bone there with the color Virgin. This is a beautiful highlight color. It is very, very light, so you need to be light-handed with it so that it doesn't look too shimmery, shiny, and obnoxious. So as always, blend, 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 blend till our arms fall off. That is the name of the game. So just gonna make sure there's no harsh lines and transitions are gorgeous. Now I felt like I needed just a little bit more intense, so I went back in with a little more buck and moving on to my Urban Decay. This is actually a new product that I've been trying. It's a cream liner. So it's super saturated, super black, moves really easy. I'm really loving it. I've been using it on a lot of my brides and they're loving it too. So as you can see, waterproof faux show. And then Red Cherry Lashes are amazing. I absolutely love them. They're human hair. They look gorgeous, come in so many different shapes, sizes, and varieties. Now just sealing in that uh, lash line there and moving on to our Makeup Forever HD. This is the High Def Foundation. So as you can see from my little note there, that is the key word. You wanna make sure that your makeup looks flawless in pictures. You're not using makeup that's light absorbent so that you're gonna look lighter. Um, and like, you know when you get, you've seen those pictures where a girl has like ghost face and you're like, hmm, say what? So that's why. So use high def and then we're gonna go do a little color correcting. So this is the Bobbi Brown color in Light Bisque. 
This is a little excessive for an everyday wear, but you know, we're taking lots of pictures today. So we're gonna color correct first with that peachy color and then go in with MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer, NW20, and really highlight the heck out of our face down the bridge of the nose, center of the face, and I'm not gonna super blend it yet, I'm gonna place it, and then I'm gonna go in with a Bobbi Brown. This is the foundation stick in Warm Almond, and we are doing our contour. So I'll link a contour video below if you wanna see more on that. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just blend, blend, blending, making sure everything looks like that's where the sun naturally hit me, that's where I got my natural cheekbones, you know, all this all natural when none of it actually is. So. Blending it, I'm going in and out, in and out under the eye, and that'll prevent it from creasing. So, using beautiful translucent prep and prime. I love translucents for brides because it's not adding any additional makeup. So it's not making you look overly made up, it's setting your makeup. Like I wrote there, keep that baby with you because it will cut shine throughout the day if you tend to get more oily, but it's not gonna keep adding makeup on and making you look cakey. So now my favorite, blend and my favorite bronzer to contour with this is the benefits hula bronzer we're just really intensifying the cream contour that we already did and making sure everything looks super dramatic and everything looks blended so just using a big old fluffy stippling brush there and blending it out now we know brows you're gonna get tired of the same game so i'm actually using a new one today so you guys could see this one i love to use on bride this is Brides, this one is, is Light by Benefit. Um, so little trick of the trade here, most people can use a blonde shade. No matter what, I mean, unless your hair is super, super dark, most people can go in the blonde range and it'll still look natural. You can get your practice in, learn how to do, do your brows without looking like high, holy drawn on brows. So start off with blonde if you're not comfortable and then use this Anastasia setting uh, brow gel just to keep everything in place. Make sure we don't have any crazy, wacky, out of place brows. So just comb that through. It's a little wet at first, but it dries beautifully. It looks super natural. Now, I'm gonna use uh, NARS Orgasm Blush. This is by far one of their most popular shades. And as you can see, I'm putting it really intensely on the cheeks, just because we are gonna keep blending. We're gonna be keep, like I'm using the Kardashian Chroma Bronzer here going on top of it. So it's okay if it looks a little wild at first. We are still blending, blending, blending. We want that cheek color to pop because that's what's really gonna show up in pictures. Now, this is MAC Soft and Gentle, beautiful, gorgeous, most popular highlighter shade, going right on top of the cheeks, cheekbones there, down the bridge of my nose. Just really wanna look glowy and fresh. This is something that's personal preference. If you're someone who's oily, you might not love this, but I am a dry desert Sahara gal, so I gotta fake it till I make it. All right, blending, blending, name of our game. Blending, blending, then do some more blending. Hey, did I mention blending? Yep, there it is. Blending, blending. We don't want anything to look funkadelic in pictures. So keep on blending. Now I'm gonna take the two colors here, Toasted and Hustle, and just go under the lash line, didn't film that one, moving right on to lips. This is a gorgeous color by NYX. It's called Nude Pink. It's a very pinky, pretty shade. I always recommend staying in a neutral palette for brides because you don't want your makeup or your lips to wear off. You're gonna be eating, drinking, kissing your groom like crazy. You don't want it to totally ruin your lip. You don't want it to totally ruin your look if your lip comes off. So that is a little creme brulee and a little, um, what is that one, vanilla? I'll put it below just in case. So now just brightening up the inner tear ducts with a little bit of that virgin, the same color we used under the, under the brow bone, just to brighten and make sure everything looks gorge. Going in, oh, I'm really taking my time with this one here. <laughs> Didn't realize I was just really showing this moment off. Okay, so in the tear ducts there, brightening it up, making sure everything looks smooth and transitioned out well from lightest to darkest. Now, this is Max Fix Plus. This is your setting spray. This is your hairspray for your face. As you can see, take a little bath in it and make sure everything is set. All right, guys, there's the finished look. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys. You can literally see my spray tan developing as this video goes on. <laughs> Start out white, end up brown. So if you want to see how I created this gorgeous, flattering, amazing, 
promote yourself. Jeez, God, compliments a plenty. I wanted to do a bridal tutorial. Tutorial. Huh? Because you can't roll into a makeup artist with unwashed skin, un no, this is, I'm sounding rude. <laughs> So any questions, leave them below. As always, uh, I'll try to get to every single one. Every single one. Like, I'm so freaking busy. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'll try to get to every one. I'm just inundated with comments. Oh. Looks so angelic. Mm. Who's Kanye?